I2C start and stop sequence or condition. The both I2C start and stop sequence are controlled or produced by the master device. Now figure shows the I2C start condition and this is I2C stop condition. The SDL line is high to low while the clock line is high. This condition is known as start condition. When SDA line is low to high, while the clock line is high, this condition is known as stop condition. So all the transactions or communications begin with the start and are terminated by the stop condition. So these are the two important conditions or sequences in I2C protocol. Now let us see how does I2C frame look like. This is a single byte write operation. So first we have a start sequence produced by the master. In earlier slide we have seen the start sequence. So this is start condition. This will be produced by the master device. After start condition, the master device will send a seven bit address of the slave device. After that one bit read write an acknowledgement beat from slave device then a byte or 8 bit of data from master to slave again acknowledgement beat from slave device and finally a stop sequence which will be produced or generated by the master device this is how a i2c frame will look like for a single byte write operation one bit read write when this bit is 0, it indicates master is going to write the data or master is going to transmit the data. And this is called write operation. When read write bit is 1, the master is going to read the data from the slave device. And this is called read operation. Now in data transfer, data change is valid only when the clock is low. So data is read by master or slave device whenever the clock line is low. Exception is start and stop sequence. Now we have seen that there are two lines SDA serial data line and SCL serial clock line in I2C protocol. Here we have one master device and there are two slave devices. Both the SDA and SCL are bidirectional lines. When the bus is free, both the lines are high. Here the master, it will send start sequence to all the slaves on the I2C bus along with the start sequence, the address of the slaves to which the master device wants to communicate. For example, here the master wants to communicate with the slave device 2 having address 0x003. So on the SDA line, the master has sent the slave address 003. Upon receiving the address by all the slaves, here slave 1 and slave 2, all the slaves compare the received address with their own and if the address is matched, an acknowledgement pulse will be sent back by the slave to the master. So in this case, the master wants to communicate with the slave device having address 003. It will be matched with the slave number 2 device and this slave number 2 device will send an acknowledgement pulse to the master. I2C bus arbitration. Arbitration is the process of allowing only one master to control the I2C bus at any time. Now here, there are two master devices, master one and master two. There are three slave devices. At any given time, the only one master will have the control over the SDA and SCL lines. So arbitration occurs when two or more master devices start transfer of data at the same time. 